hi and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive tarot reader and I'm a certified Reiki healer and an overall life worker. And before we dive into today's episode, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to please hit the subscribe button over there. If you like this video later on, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, you want to say hey, just comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, here are the details. Alrighty, so let's get to the meat of the video. Now, very interestingly, this topic was brought about by a conversation I had with one of my closest friends. Shout out to Justin. His name is Justin. Um, I met him at work about a couple of years ago. Um, we're still in the same company, and but we, we aren't in the same department anymore, but we remain very, very close friends. And over the weekend, I had a great conversation with him just to kind of catch up. And we were actually talking about our new work from home routines, or rather our work from home routines. Um, so something very interesting that he said popped up and it was interesting because I realized that I was doing it too. So he mentioned to me that after his work is done and after he spends time with his family, you know, after he eats and all that stuff, after he spends time um, talking with his family, just, just spending time with his family, he leaves some time for himself and he doesn't look at how long it takes for him to de-stress and to kind of um, detach from the work day and everything that has happened but no matter how long it takes he is going to do it until he feels that he's fine to sleep that he's ready to sleep uh, a good night's rest he is going to do it and that was very interesting because i do that too i developed that kind of routine when uh, lockdown was becoming uh, more and more evident that it was going to stay. For those of you who don't know, we're still in lockdown in the Philippines, by the way. Um, it's almost my one year anniversary lockdown. <laughs> so, uh, and, and in those times, I've only probably went out, uh, I've, I've probably gone out maybe around eight to 10 times, seven to 10 times, something like that. And so there's not a lot of external um, things to go about. There's not a lot of external things to kind of de-stress me and we're not really that free yet to uh, you know to go about. I mean it's always at your discretion basically but as much as you can if you can stay home stay home. So that's kind of like the message for us here. And so uh, yeah so I realized that I was doing that too. My typical day goes I wake up I get some coffee you know i write a little bit and then i i meditate a little bit as well and then i start working and it continues until well until like 6 p.m or 7 p.m or at the worst case scenario until the next day until like 1 a.m for really dire dire situations but no matter what time i ended i always made sure that i spent time for myself just doing my own thing and just detaching from the remainder of the day you know if i finish my day early my parents and i um usually watch because i live with my parents um my parents and i usually watch our k-dramas our korean novellas um and all our other tv shows and movies and stuff like that but even for those times i put a cap on it so if we finish early, for example, my mom and I and my, my dad and I would probably watch a K-drama until usually 9 p.m. I set the time of until 9 p.m. and then after 9 p.m. I'm going to go to my room and I'm going to do whatever it is that I need to do in order to de-stress, in order to detach from the day, in order to call it a day, basically. And I realize that this is such an important thing to do. This is perfectly within the line of choosing yourself, of giving yourself that attention, of making sure that even if your day was so filled, even if your day was 
was so hectic, even if so many things were going on, you still have enough time for yourself. You know, my mom, she's a big extrovert. She loves to spend time with me. She loves to spend time with us in general, me, my sister, my brother-in-law, um, my, my dad, you know, and she just loves to be around people. But even with my mom doing that, even with my mom saying that, I also had to express to her that, hey, we, we can spend some time together, but I also need my own time. And at the same time, you need your own time as well. You need time for you. Because my mom's a working mom and she's a tiger mom. She is that person, you know? If you know what I'm talking about, she is definitely that person. She just gets things done. She's a badass bitch, basically. And yeah, so she's a kind of a workaholic too. And so she loves interaction. But I told her that it's really important to also have just me time just a time maybe even like five minutes just for yourself only yourself not in relation to anyone or anything else and that was one thing that i'm glad that justin brought about that he mentioned to me because i didn't know that he was doing it and i was doing it as well but the main message here basically is to make sure that you do spend some time for yourself. Set those boundaries, especially if you're living in a country where you're still in lockdown, especially if you're in a country where you're not really free to go about gallivanting just yet, especially if you're living alone as well. I mean, yes, your only interaction might be work, you know, talking to people on Zoom uh, for work ideas or even talking to people on Skype, but make sure that at the end of the day, you leave some time for you you know if you've uh, watched my video on rest and redirection I'll link it up here or here you'll know that not every activity is actually uh, regenerative and so what I'd like for everyone to take away from this video is to choose um, choose yourself basically choose regeneration for yourself choose rejuvenation for yourself and if that means saying no to some people, if that means saying no to some activities, if that means compromising, uh, no, not compromising, that's a wrong word. If that means setting a boundary, rather, on certain experiences and things and stuff like that, then so be it, you know? There's nothing, there's no one more important to take care of in and out of quarantine, in and out of lockdown, and at any point in time than yourself all right make sure that at the end of the day there's time for you make sure that you always choose yourself choose what you like choose what makes you happy choose what regenerates you choose what rejuvenates you choose your own improvement basically choose things that improve you choose things that make you a better person inside and out physically non-physically you know health wise non-health wise everything else in between all right so yeah again shout out to justin for this because i miss justin so much and i'm so glad that he actually called um and gave me this idea you know it, it really sparked in my mind so i'm dedicating this entire video to him shout out to shout out to justin and yeah so that's it. I hope this helps. Um, I hope that you do like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions you want to say hey, please comment down below. If you would like to receive notifications of my new videos, please hit the subscribe button over there. If you, if you would like your very own dare reading or Reiki healing session with me online for now, of course, here are the details. And I will see you guys next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, keep an eye on yourself, choose yourself, always, always have time for yourself, all right? And yeah, ciao for now.